Dash it off! Wow. Oh, man. You're going to be in my hotel room later. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, everyone. It's the first Wednesday of the new year, and I can only hope you're holding on to those resolutions. After all, you want a beach bod, not a bankman bod. <laughs> Somebody get this guy a training bra. He's a 30-year-old guy with the body of Kathy Bates. <laughs> Speaking of banks, did you hear what's going down at Goldman Sachs, huh? See, transition, everybody. As a recession becomes reality and layoffs loom, the perks that one used to enjoy at your job are disappearing faster than Whoopi Goldberg's Jewish fan base. <laughs> According to the New York Post, they're taking away their free coffee perks for the Goldman Sachs employees. I know, stop the presses. Or at least, the French presses. Uh. I know. That's why I sit here and you're in the audience. <laughs> so now those bankers will have to pay for it like the rest of us, just like I do for those massages. <laughs> Bill Hemmer has such strong hands. Sadly, as the New York Post reports, Goldman Sachs employees returned to work on Tuesday to find out that they'd have to pay for their crappy coffee. That's the Post words, not mine. I'm guessing it's Starbucks, which I happen to like, because you know what I always say, I like my coffee the way I like my Joy Reid, black and really bitter. <laughs> so, to quote one worker, they were confronted when they got their coffee with a sign and a woman yelling at us that the coffee was no longer complimentary. A woman yelling at them, Judge, I didn't know you spend your mornings at Goldman Sachs. <laughs> Anyway, the anonymous banker goes on, quote, we had to go to the checkout counter before we could leave. I paid $2.99 this morning for a cup of Seattle's best. Well, I assume they're either talking about coffee or a urine sample from Kelsey Grammer. <laughs> <laughs> He's clean now. But come on, people. What's with the whining? You don't have to buy coffee. You can make your own or choose to not drink it. It's not like the Gutfeld pay toilets at the studio where the audience has no choice. And man, if I cleaned up on that, <laughs> even if I don't clean them. But look, no one's forcing you to work there. You're not chained to your desk like Kat, and that's for her own well-being. <laughs> but caffeine may be the least of their worries. As many as 4,000 low-performing employees, 8% of the Goldman workforce, could potentially be laid off. So they might as well buy the coffee. Then at least they already have a cup for people to drop change into. <laughs> that was mean. <laughs> I actually feel bad for them, but this is happening to everyone, not just Wall Streeters. So many Americans are dealing with inflation and an uncertain future. And for that misery, of course, you can thank Joe Biden's America. Am I right, people? Yeah. 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 That's what you call a desperate attempt for red meat applause. That meat was redder than a baboon's ass during mating season. But I'm not totally heartless, regardless of what my four homeless, estranged children have to say. The rich have feelings, too, and I should know. The price of helicopter fuel is driving me insane. <laughs> Worse, I now have to fill the tank myself after letting Kilmeade go. <laughs> and he can pack a lot of tears under those jaunty eyebrows. But this is what happens when good times suddenly become bad. All those perks seem to vanish faster than a CNN anchor. What freebies that were once dangled in front of you to join the firm disappear like a garbage bag full of eclairs during the View's feeding time. <laughs> but it's like SeaWorld. But we're all exper <laughs> but we're all experiencing this malaise. Before the media would ignore it, the politicians would deny it. And when it got undeniably worse, the press and politicians would collude and tell us that inflation's actually a good thing which is like saying COVID's a good thing or high crime is a good thing. In fact, now that I think of it, pretty sure they did say that. As for Goldman Sachs, a company that's already dealing with lower revenues in this uncertain economic climate, coworkers claim that the free coffee was the last straw, which sucks because that straw was gonna be saved for the blow. <laughs> Brought back hanging for parking violations. Co host of the five, Judge Janine Vera. 
If he looks like a guy who's a comedian and owns a sandwich shop, that's because he is a comedian who owns a sandwich shop. Joe DeRosa. She's like confetti. After a party, people say, what a mess. Fox News contributor, Kat Tim. And finally, he's got a gold chain and a silver tongue. My massive sidekick in the NWA's World Heavyweight Champion, Tyrus. <laughs> Judge. What? Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank it's always you. a pleasure. You're like an ex-wife I never had. Yeah, yeah, never wanted. Yes, I feel like, I feel like Oscar from The Odd Couple talking to his divorced <laughs> well, I can't remember who played that. It was like that. Oh. Ann Mira. I don't know. You're older than Ann I am. Mira. Why do you think I would remember? I think it was Ann Mira. Was it? it? Wasn't Ann it just Mira? a phone? Wasn't it two guys? It was yes, a phone. it was Felix Unger. So what did Ann Mira have to do? He had an ex-wife. Remember to get kicked out? No, at the start I don't of remember the, the ex-wife. There were two guys. Well, yeah, oh, no, you he... never saw Oscar's wife. She just called and asked for money. Really? Yeah. Why do I have a, you know what? This is a recovered memory, a false memory. Yes. You're the yes. only person I've ever met more passionate about the odd couple sitcom than the movie. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I don't, yeah. And more and more passionate about that than this topic. What's your question? <laughs> What's my question? <laughs> <laughs> Does this, uh, 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 we feel bad for the stockbrokers or is this just a sign of America in general that everybody's facing the chopping block? Well, first of all, the economy is in the tank, all right? Everybody knows that, by the way, the audience reacted to Joe Biden. But who gets free anything anymore, unless it's from the government? Mm -hmm. If the government gives it to you, then everybody's got open arms. But I, I honestly, when I worked in government, nobody got free coffee. We didn't have anything free. And now they're upset they don't have their free lattes, schmattes, whatever the hell they, it is that they drink. <laughs> you know, too bad. Suck it up. We get a lot of freebies in TV. People send us stuff. You mentioned they don't a restaurant. Send me stuff. Someone will send you ribs. It's disgusting. Oh, you and we it. act like it's bad, but we'll do it because yes, we're sir. cheap bastards. <laughs> Joe. Yes. You own, obviously, a, a, you're a new owner of a sub shop. How is it? How, how are the prices are on your subs? Because I go to Unbeatable. Jersey. Unbeatable. <laughs> <laughs> Unbeatable or unmeatable? But, no, very meaty. Very <laughs> meaty. They're delicious. Yes. I tell you, I was mad you didn't bring Thank it. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Phenomenal. Thank you. Use that word I, often. Yes, I had to say before the show, I had to you? stop bringing hoagies to places because <laughs> I have shows that I need to sell tickets. <laughs> uh, where are they in the Lower East Side? It's called Joey Roses on Rivington Street. Okay. Come down. It's not yes. free. It's uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, sorry. What were you? What? Uh, I do, no, but. Okay, so I, yes. I, I live near a Jersey Mike's, no offense. Th th I bought a large sub, it was $20. Yeah. We used to talk about restaurants that had burgers for 20 bucks as being outrageous. Now that's the norm. Yeah. We, no, we, we actually built our price list during the lockdown when we were developing the place. And we said, well, when everything opens, we want to be able to give New York something mm. that has old school New York prices. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you, you feel that a little bit now, uh, <laughs> that it's not locked down anymore. But we, we're sticking to it because, you know, we want to try to give back a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to, you got to, the thing that kills me with this story is it's not people complaining about the price of something going up. They're complaining about something free yes. being taken away, which is, it's like when people complain that your podcast has too many commercials in it. You know yes, what I mean? You're not paying for it. Yeah, exactly. It was free. Also, I don't understand what people are where they're going, this is the last straw. We're about to get laid off. Well, what do you think is going to happen before a layoff? Do you think they're going to start giving you things? They're, yes. they're cutting back. Yes. And they're also trying to dull you from caffeine so you're not seeing the, that, that ax coming. But it's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. I don't understand what they thought was going to happen. Layoffs are on the way. Why aren't they giving us presents now? <laughs> That's not how a layoff works. Yeah, it's not like a last meal, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that yeah. means, Kat. Do you feel bad? I feel bad for anybody who's getting fired. Yes. By the way, you have to. we can talk after the show. No. Oh. <laughs> that was a joke. She's it was... a prized employee. Are you OK? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know a lot about banking, even though I live with a banker, because mm -hmm. I'm married to him. Yeah. Uh, it just still seems like a lot of charts and graphs and wearing a headset and yeah. going like this. 
so we like never talk. So, um, so he drinks a lot of coffee, so I could see how that would be annoying. But again, it, annoying, like all, of course the free coffee sucks. I don't think they're really missing it that much. And maybe it's a trick. Maybe they're trying to see who acts like a dick about the free coffee, and then they fire those people. Ooh. That's what I would do if I ran a company, just be full of tricks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that would be how you Every get Every day is a little scientific experiment. Experiment, like a, yeah, like a yeah, sociological like if, experiment. What if every day I insult one of my panelists over and over again? What mm. would happen? I'll yeah. tell you what happened, yeah. you do it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still sitting here and I never get any free food. <laughs> yes. It's always cat, eat a cheeseburger. Not cat, here is a cheeseburger. <laughs> That's true. Somebody send her a cheeseburger. Yeah, I'll eat it. All right, what's your take on this? Well, I think this is the desperate attempt of one decent person in management trying to cut costs mm. instead of cutting employees. But. That's a good point. But what's ugly about this is, yeah, that's right. You didn't expect that, did you? <laughs> because our government knew this was coming. See, these big companies can lay off, they can make cuts, they can downsize, and they can keep going. You can't sit at your breakfast table and be like, all right, kids, uh, someone's getting laid off today. <laughs> uh, which one of you has the lowest grades? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Cindy. Please, uh, your mom will show you out. You, know, you can't. And if uh, things pick up, if uh, Daddy gets a special or something, we'll give you a call. Yeah. Love you. It's true. Sea turtle. No, you can't do that. Sea turtle. But what do we do during Christmas? Yeah. All the th commercials were buy this, Black Friday this, spend your money, get your last gifts. The media is covering all this stuff to tell us to go shopping, knowing this is looming. So now people are losing jobs, their savings gone because, and it's always right after Christmas, right after spending, because all the big markets, they got their money now, can, what can we cut so we can, we can make this last? So yeah, no one listened. Like, and, and, and it drives me crazy because it's across the board. The mainstream media loves to tell you to spend and then now they're gonna go after a story like this and be like, oh, how dare they cut coffee? Fool, they cut your paycheck. Yeah. So good luck with that. Excellent point. I learned a lot just now. <laughs> Can yeah. we lay off kids? I don't know. That'd be awesome. You're yeah. fired. That's a great show. No, that's call it, when you go call to it, jail. Call it Baby Apprentice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you gotta lay off one of your one of your poodles. I you gotta host, lay off. I could host Baby Apprentice. You could. Uh, because you could be I'd so be good I'm taller. I'd be. I could look down at the little children. And you like making people cry? I love it. I would love this. Yeah. We okay. Whoever uh, Chuck, the producer of Celebrity Apprentice, Baby Apprentice. I'm the host. No, I'd no, you fire want, those you little want brats. toddlers so they can beg for their job. Exactly. Yeah, baby Aww. would just, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. By the way, yeah. can I just say, the yeah. coffee price, two ninety nine. dollars yeah. That's still an amazing deal. It is, yeah. it is. Coffee is like four fifty dollars a cup. And yeah. It's, it's $10 for a gallon of milk in this country right now. That's phenomenal for a cup of coffee. Yeah. All right. Sorry to bring us back. Yeah, yeah. thanks. And you were on the yeah. baby Reality. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So let, back to Baby Apprentice. <laughs> Next. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.